Hello, so this time I will introduce you to threads and show you how to implement them to your script and how they work basically. So what threads are and why do you need to use them and why do you want to use them? So threads are used to run the code that has to be executed continuously like it could be uh, it could be for a specific period of time or it could be for as long as the player is in the server or maybe until uh, some specific actions are finished and you want to put that in a thread in a separate thread because then it does not uh, interrupt any other uh, code that is running in that uh, file basically because every single Lua file is running from top to bottom but if you for example you put a thread thread is gonna um, uh, execute all the code independently so I created a little resource called my thread and uh, just added fx manifest and client that Lua file to it so in here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new thread I'm gonna add a function handler to it. In here, in here I'll add a while tree loop and I'm gonna uh, add citizen weight zero. So what it means? I created a new thread added a function handler that has this code inside while loop is executed while this condition is true so it could be for example one equal to one or one more than zero then it will be executed but if it will be one less than zero since that is false that's not going to be executed but now we're just gonna hard code it to true because we want this to be running for as long as the player is in the server. Also, you need a citizen weight zero because otherwise, for some reason, if you don't just put that inside any while loop, uh, the server is just uh, the client machine is just gonna crash basically. So, yeah, you always want weight. Uh, inside every single way a while loop and uh, 5m inside first line of the thread we're gonna create a new uh, variable called fed and we're gonna and we're gonna assign a player pet to it so in GTA 5 player model or any human model even animal model are called uh, basically described as pets uh, and each of them have their own unique uh, ID basically so if new pet is created it gets its own unique ID so basically what it does is it returns uh, for each and every single client its own uh, pet model ID. So why we need that? We're gonna create a new variable. We're gonna uh, we're gonna call it player chords, and we're gonna say get entity chords, and we're gonna put in pet here. So this is gonna get coordinates of the player model basically or of position of uh, player and now we're just gonna basically print player chords to so every single frame you're gonna see different coordinates uh, if the player is moving and here we can add I don't know 2000 so that's gonna be every two seconds player coordinates are going to be printed uh, to the console so I can try doing it now I'm gonna refresh and start my thread resource whoopsie 
and now every two seconds it should show my coordinates. If I move, the coordinates obviously are gonna change. So this time I have a little task for you. Um, I will just leave the I will leave the link for it in the description. Uh, but basically, your task is to since now you know how to get player coordinates, use draw marker native function to draw a couple of markers, one directly on the player and one just somewhere on the map. I have a few hints for you and good luck on this then. So yeah, in this video it's just gonna be that and I hope you found it helpful. If you need any other help, just join my discord which I'm gonna leave in the description. So thank you for watching, see you next time.